Hello beauties, welcome to Hormone Breakthrough Wednesday. Ah, oh, we're just gonna arrive for a moment here. Let's see, where is, uh, that's the song. Oh my gosh, we are made of stars. All right, we're just gonna arrive for Hormone Breakthrough Wednesday. Get into our beautiful bodies. Yes. Oh, gosh. So great to see you here today. I am ready to receive all the love that's given me. Knowing I am worthy, yes, and more please. I am ready to oh, release beautiful. all the fear, anxiety, trusting I am held in the light by divinity. So nice. Mm. I am ready to receive all the love that's given me. Cause I know that I am worthy, yes, and more, please. I am ready to release all the fear, anxiety, and I trust that I am held in the light by divinity. So done with plain small. So done with plain small. Knowing I am made of stars. Knowing I am made of and stars. That I am that beautiful the love that I'm, I'm looking, looking for knowing that my heart is my own so beautiful welcome to hormone breakthrough Wednesday it's just a lovely to arrive isn't it and to just get into our bodies and out of our heads that you know are just just keeping us busy all day long right keeping us worried about things so we have to we have to um, uh, intentionally, right, do things that help us get into our bodies. Oh, so today is very exciting. Today is um, Q and A with me, and so if you are interested in uh, doing some Q and A with me about Robin's hormone reset that is coming right up, then be sure to jump on Zoom with me. So we have. Um, quite a few ladies on Zoom today. I want to say hello to, um, well, there's a forum for theological exploration, so I'm not sure who that is, but welcome, and Gigi and Lital and our beautiful guest, Sherry. So, so excited to be here with you, and this is how, this is how we figure out what's going on with our bodies so we can heal, so we can live the lives we were meant to live. Yes? We show up here on Hormone Breakthrough Wednesday to figure out what's going on and take that next step because it really is all about learning how to take charge of our health. It's learning about how to take charge of our health, discovering your underlying root causes of what is causing those awful symptoms, right? Like I had. Oh my gosh, just irritability and brain fog and, you know, gaining five pounds in a day for no good reason and acne on my face, my chest, my back that I could not resolve for decades, receding gums, receding enamel on my teeth. So I couldn't eat hot and cold food, right? Rough elbows, constipation, chronic constipation, you know, IBS symptoms, horrible gut pain, you know, a lot of pain in my abdomen all the time, whether it was PMS or digestive related, right? So a lot of these things um, are very common. You know, many of us experience these, um, but they're all solvable. You can heal everything. I was talking to one of my clients yesterday, you know, she said she hasn't felt this good ever, ever, right? And she's a, she's a hot grandma now. It's so great. You know, it's amazing. So it doesn't matter what your age, because I felt like crap, right? The old FLC when I was in my 20s. So it doesn't matter what your age, you can feel fabulous, but it's up to you. It's not up to someone else out there to, you know, 
give you the magic pill or the magic bullet or whatever it is that you're waiting for. It's up to you. You have everything you need to heal yourself. You just need the steps. So Robin's hormone reset is coming right up where you're going to get those steps. And every single day, we're going to do a, a hormone assessment. So each day is a hormone assessment on a different hormone. So we're going to review six different hormones in Robin's hormone reset. So we're, we're going to review testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, cortisol, insulin, and thyroid hormones. And you're going to be so amazed to learn that almost every single symptom you are experiencing is coming from an imbalance of one of those hormones. Isn't that something? Yes. And the guest who is on with me today had over a hundred. Her score, her score, I think on, on um, all those assessments was a hundred and each point is a symptom. So can you imagine having a hundred symptoms of hormone imbalance? But it's so true. And we don't even sometimes associate it with hormone imbalance, which is, you know, how would we know? right? But things like racing from one task to another, being irritable, um, constipation, hair falling out, acne, uh, irregular menstrual cycles, um, all of it is related to hormone imbalance. Because if one hormone is out of balance, they're all out of balance. So I want to make sure that if you are ready to take charge of your health, you know, maybe you've been doing this on your own for a long time and you need somebody to help you pull it all together for you. Um, because I know that, you know, like me, you know, we're the do it yourselfers. We feel like we can do it ourselves and better than anyone else. And most of the time we can, but there are times when we need help. We need to hire the expert. And this is one of those times where I've heard from hundreds of women who have said, you know, that they've been on this journey for a while and this program really helps them to pull it all together. And yeah, they haven't, they haven't seen success anywhere else um, until they joined this program. So I, I highly encourage you to, to join in. It's really powerful. The love is amazing. And we need to be around like-minded women if we are going to heal. It's just how it is. The communities around the world, those blue zones where the people live longer and healthier than anywhere else are around people who are like-minded. That's how it works. So let's do this. Let's heal. And we can do that by signing up for the reset. You can still save $20, but it's only for a few more days. So if you are, you know, really thinking that this is time you want to get you want to, you know, really kind of get organized for the summer. You really want to understand what's going on. You're sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. Then let's do this. Um, yeah. And you can save $20 to boot up until I think Sunday. And then the price goes up a little bit, but still, you know, really inexpensive. It's almost free, <laughs> but we want every single woman to be able to participate. So please say hello. I want to know where you're joining in from and Let's just post kind of, you know, uh, I would like you to post your number one health goal right now. Post your number one health goal. And I have a little message here. Um, gosh, can I read it? Why can't I, can I read my chats? <gasps> anyway, there is a chat and I, and I um, yeah, I'm not sure why I can't read it. Oh, maybe I have to, nope. Oh. Yes. Oh, she can't figure out how to change your name from her working out. Okay. But you could post what your name is and then I can say it. Yes. So, so wonderful. Um, let me just see if there's anything else that I need to be sharing here. Oh, yes. And when you join the reset, um, and, and many of you have already done the reset in the past. And if you've done the reset in the past, you are automatically in. And many, many ladies like to do the reset, even my private clients, even the ladies in the Natural Hormone Solution Program, so that they can get back on track, back on their game. Um, 
it's very, uh, very condensed. It's very focused. It's a, it's a time to reconnect with yourself and what's important to you. So if you've done the reset before, you're already in. And all you need to do is hop on over to the reset, to Robin's Hormone Reset Facebook group and post your top three health goals for this reset. And then you have to love up on three other women. That is how we roll. And we like to do that here too. And I want to make sure that, you know, we love up on each other here too. So today, love up on three other women in this group, just by giving them a heart instead of a like, or just responding to a comment that they made, because we need to fill ourselves up. That's how we heal as we fill ourselves up with so much love and so much self-care that our bodies can't help but be in alignment and heal. All right. So, um, when you join the reset, you can participate in the help a girlfriend contest, which is pretty phenomenal. It was the bring a friend contest and we changed it to the help a girlfriend contest because that's really what we're doing when we're inviting a sister friend, a mom, an aunt, a sister to the reset to do it with us. We are helping another woman. Doesn't that feel amazing? And, you know, I talk about this kind of lightly sometimes, but when we help each other out, we change the world. Like this is no small thing we're doing here because you know that when you feel well, life is good for everyone around you. Would you agree? Yes. <clears throat> and you want to share what you've learned with others. You want to bring others up. That's how we roll as women. So that's why I focus my practice on women is because I know that you are the game changers in this world. You're the game changers. And when you start to make change, your hot, sexy lover comes along, your kids come along. Like that's how it happened in my world, right? My whole family started taking better care of themselves and they all healed whatever was going on for them. So it's pretty powerful. So the help a girlfriend contest starts right now. And um, here's how we do it. So Lizette will post the link to the help a girlfriend, the girlfriend um, contest. You have to join the reset first, and then you go to the help a girlfriend page and you get your special link. So you put your email in and you click get my link and you'll get your special affiliate link. And then you share that link with ladies who you think are really ready to take charge of their health. And we are able to track everyone you bring through your special link. So make sure that you get your special link. And we have some fabulous prizes. So we give the top three bring uh, help a girlfriend um, ladies uh, with great prizes. So um, let me just share what they are. So we have the top three prizes for the women who bring the most friends, right? <clears throat> the most girlfriends um, who register for the reset. So the first prize is a $500 coupon to our natural hormone e-store where we have some pretty incredible products. Um, plus the Emerson Apothecary, all the kids skincare kit, which is really phenomenal. Second place is a $250 coupon to our e-store where you'll find all these hormone balancing nutrients, supplements, protein powders. Um, plus you'll, you'll still get the, all the kids, Emerson apothecary, beautiful skincare. And third place is a hundred dollar coupon to the e-store <clears throat> plus the Emerson apothecary, all the kids skincare. So um, let's reset our hormones together so we can thrive because that's how we roll. All right. So if you want to ask questions today, I would love for you to hop on Zoom with me because that's where I can answer your questions. And I'm going to bring on a special guest right now. Her name is Sherry Schumann. And I'd like to bring on guests um, around the reset time because I know for myself and I know for you know many in my communities that at first we didn't feel like 
we could heal. You know, we would read testimonials, we'd read, you know, that people had changed, we'd read that good things had happened to them, but we didn't believe it for ourselves. Have you ever felt that? That you see someone else has been able to do it and you're like, well, that could never happen for me. Is that you? You can just put yeah, yes, like I, 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 I read testimonials or I see success stories and I've never felt that it could be me. That's a big deal. I just want to take that in for a minute. And, you know, Kimberly Sherman, who is um, a big cheerleader in the reset, she's also one of, <clears throat> one of our guiding goddesses in our natural hormone solution program. That was her. You know, she wrote, she wrote a testimonial about how, you know, whenever she would read testimonials, she would say, oh, you know, that that's ridiculous. That can't be me. Like, I'm tired of reading happy things about people. And then it became her. And so, so one of the things that I want you to know is that if you don't believe it for yourself right now, then you hang on to my belief that it can happen for you. Because I know that you can heal just about, if not everything. I know that you can heal everything. So hang on to my belief that it's possible. Okay. So type right here. I'm going to hang on to Robin's belief that it's possible for me to heal everything. Yeah. You just have to know the steps. You have to figure out what your underlying root causes are in order to do that. And I'm going to help you with that in the reset. All right. So I want to bring Sherry on so that she can tell you about her journey. Yeah. All right, Sherry, I'm going to, um, I'm going to promote you to panelists and you're going to join me. Thank you so much for your patience. So while Sherry's coming on, um, yeah, I'm going to let her tell you the whole story. And there's that beautiful woman. Ah, I love that surfboard. <laughs> it's so great to see you. It's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Sherry's joined us a couple of times and um. We just, we just really um, are so appreciative that you come on and share your story because it's so possible, you know, for every woman, but unless we kind of see it, you know, over and over and over, we don't really believe it, you know? Absolutely. I, I didn't necessarily believe that I was extremely optimistic that the reset was going to change my life, just like every other program that I had tried in the past, but um you know, I had no idea it was going to change my life the way it did. Yeah, um, it was grateful. Yeah, I'm getting getting goosebumps. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> will you share? You actually did the reset January 2021. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and when you were thinking about joining the reset, what were some of the things that were happening for you? Like, why were you so motivated to join the reset? Um. Probably the biggest part, one that led me to it. Um, my mom has early had early dementia um, that was really progressing, and my sister and I both suspected that it was hormone related. Um, but we also, the two of us, were also having many of the same symptoms. Um, you know, I had, of course, all the other hormonal hell <laughs> symptoms. You know, with the hot flashes and the extreme fatigue and cardiac symptoms and, you know, fatty liver and high cholesterol. And I was pre-diabetic and, um, I could not sleep. You know, I was waking up at two o'clock every morning with, you know, her, you know, there's like, I'm going to melt, um, hot flashes, you know, and then I couldn't go back to sleep. So, and then when I did sleep, I was snoring, had sleep apnea. Um, I never thought those were all hormonal other than the hot flashes. Um, but the, when I started showing a lot of the same symptoms that my mom was, um, I was, you know, I was forgetting things all the time. My kids were constantly saying, mom, you already told me that, you know, they were reminding me of things. Um, I was getting lost. I was forgetting how to get from one point in town to the other. Um, 
I was so scatterbrained. I just, I couldn't even function. And I was really thinking it was dementia coming, hitting. Um, and wow, of course, I don't think I've heard this before. Yeah. This yeah. is something, wow. I know it kind of takes us a little bit to unravel some of this, doesn't it? It, it does. Um, yeah. But in all of my Google searches for, you know, the hormones tied into dementia, obviously, you know, we all know when you Google something, ads start coming up on Facebook, <laughs> which I guess <laughs> is how my hormone reset <laughs> came up. Oh. Um, and, you know, and I saw it and I was like, you know, what the heck? It's At the time it was like $25. And I thought I've spent way more than that on anything else. And if I can reset my hormones in 15 days, that's amazing. Um, so, you know, I just sort of, again, because at the time I was doing, I, you know, I did every other program plan that you can think of. I, if I had all the money I've spent on plans, I don't know, I could probably have another horse, but, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I, I just, you know, I took the chance and, and I'm so grateful that I did because, you know, my life changed immensely and, and it wasn't in a year. I mean, it was in by day three of the reset, I was feeling like a whole nother person. You know, by day five, I was, you know, I had already released a, you know, I think three or four pounds by, you know, day five, just of inflammation and water and, um, you know, and, and I had, I wasn't taking naps by the fifth day, you know, and, and at that point I was taking three naps a day just to get through my day. So yeah, your mitochondria were really dysfunctional. Yeah. I think things were really slowing down super sluggish metabolism. Yeah. yeah. And, and, um, and I think, uh, I think what's special, you know, about this program is, you know, cause like me, you know, I'd done a new diet, you know, every January, you know, and, and, you know, and then tried all year long to keep, you know, doing some form of something. Right. And, you know, so you're just always like this, you know, and never balanced, never sustainable. Right. And this is not a diet, right. This is, this is not a diet. And also, you know, we women don't give ourselves credit for, you know, losing or releasing those first few pounds. Cause we always say, oh, it's just water weight, but you hit on something really important. Water weight is inflammation. Mm -hmm. So when you release that water weight, you are decreasing inflammation in your body. And here's the really cool part too. Sherry just didn't show up for the reset. She took action, right? And that is our little saying for the reset is that you show up. So you have to clear out your calendar. And it is interesting. I am not come one, come all to this thing. I am, if you are ready to take charge of your health, then I invite you to join the reset. You know, this is not for dabblers. And Sherry was so ready. You mm -hmm. were so ready. Like you showed up every day and you did something that I said. I did everything you said, like everything. And I, I think I said this once before at that January 16th, I was probably at my lowest low for health feelings, for emotions, for, um, I mean, I was, I was experiencing, you know, all these heart palpitations, dizziness. I mean, so many cardiac symptoms. I was just, you know, couldn't stop crying, the panic attacks. I think if you had told me to go do a handstand naked in my driveway every morning and evening, I would have done it just because I needed to get better. But yes, every, you know, it wasn't like, I know you say change is a process, but when you said, do this, do this, don't do this, don't eat this, this is a plan, you know, and, and you said it's 15 days, you can do it for 15 days. So of course yeah. now it's only yeah. seven, which is yeah. Yeah. even easier. Well, and, and half the time, <laughs> but you can see like by day three, you'd already seen some really amazing changes. Huge changes, yeah. unbelievable changes. And, yeah. you know, even my husband could not believe the changes that were happening so fast. Um, so it amazing. was just, it was shocking, like, you know, and, and I don't want to say who knew, but, you know, a lot of things you talk about and you tell us, they're not things we haven't heard before. They're things we've, yeah, we've dabbled. We've heard bits and pieces from different, different plans, but when you actually understand why, and it is the why, you know, when someone's telling you why something is not good for you or why you need to eat and stop eating by a certain time, then it just, it clicks. And so 
you know, even at night, there's times when you sometimes want to go grab a snack because, you know, for whatever reason, you're just feeling that and you're like, ah, that's going to really, that's going to impact my insulin. Like, I can't do it, you know, and you're really not hungry anyway. It's just a habit, you know, and you do, it really stops you from, from doing that. Um, but yeah. it's, it's understanding the whys that yeah. makes it all kind of come together. But again, just the immediate changes that I felt, you know, and just the, the energy level and just, you know, every one of my, my symptoms was decreasing. And actually I was at 109. I had 109 symptoms. I'm Your score was 109. Oh my gosh. So yeah. So every, every point is a, you know, full-fledged, not feeling good symptom, right? Like it's, it's a, it's a, Yep. really big deal. And, and, and you, do you know where you are now? Well, at the end of the reset, which again was 15 days, is that yeah. I was at 37. That is unbelievable. That's unbelievable. And, and then the last time I did the reset or the assessment, I was down to 11. Okay. Um, it has now crept up a little bit, but I've had, I had some health stuff go on this winter and, you know, I did the whole COVID thing like everyone else. And that's kind of thrown me a little bit off, but, um, you know, but I know exactly where they are and kind of why it's, why it's doing it. Um, but yeah, I mean, so I dropped down to 11. Down to 11 and she's been working hard, right? Like this doesn't just happen. She's staying on the path. Now she ended up joining the natural hormone solution program, right? So that really helped her a lot. And I, I want to show, can I share, share your photo? <laughs> It is, you it is a super secret photo that like, yes, I know um, it is so sweet. This is so sweet that she shared this because it's a very vulnerable, I'm going to get sure, it's a very vulnerable photo, but it's just for us, right? Just for us to see. But I think it's really inspiring when you see this and, mm -hmm. you know, we've all probably done this before, but this woman has sustained it, you know? Look how beautiful that is. So beautiful. And you can just see, you know, it just, your body just, just feels better. You know, I think that that's the biggest thing. You just feel so much better, you know? Um, so we just, <laughs> we're so grateful that you were brave to, to share. Cause you know, you're, you're in your bra and, you know, it doesn't feel so good to take pictures of yourself where you're not. And I was pregnant. I mean, I look, I looked pregnant, you know? And it was all that, definitely the insulin resistance. I mean, that was all my weight around the middle, all the inflammation. Yeah. And um, of course, the second picture, the funny part, I had bought those leggings for my daughter for her 20th birthday, and um, which was like March 2nd, and she didn't like them. So I tried them on and they actually fit me, which I was really excited about. And I was taking the picture to show her because I was like, you know, look what you lost out on. And I was like, <laughs> I was going to say they are so cute. They're so cute. Yeah. Really but, but the fact that I was actually wearing ones that I bought for my daughter made me, you know, was, was a big pick me up too. But yeah. you know, when you talk about the, um, you know, your family coming along, not only it, because again, obviously the moms usually drive, you know, our diet and our lifestyles and, and, you know, in the last year, you know, my, and I have my, my kids are 20 and 22, but you know, they're going to bed earlier. They are eating so much better. They're eating a lot of the same foods that I am. My, my, my husband has been amazing. He's joined me on this you know, he eats everything I do, um, you know, the same patterns, the same, you know, he's, and he's so good about making sure we eat, you know, in time in the evenings and, um, but, but our whole family and, and a lot of their health issues are resolving. And, you know, I'm, I'm even noticing their, especially with my kids, you know, those hormones are much more leveled. Yeah, so. for sure. You know, and, um, and, and we start, we start to notice that, you know, I, something comes to mind when you talk about that, you know, I just remember going out, you know, to dinner with, um, you know, with my brother and his youngest daughter and, um, and, you know, <laughs> and we've all done this. We've all done this. You, you sit down, you're, you know, I don't know, we were at some Mexican place and, you know, we got margaritas and they gave her a Shirley Temple and then they gave her some French fries and, you know, and she can't sit still. Right. So like half an hour later, she's kind of bouncing off the walls. She's kind of a pain in the ass and they get mad at her. And I'm like, time out, right? You just gave her a bunch of sugar and crap, and now you're expecting her to sit still. <laughs> that is not fair, right? Not fair. We just don't realize like the impact that what we put in has on our bodies. 
We just don't realize that. And what, what I realized kind of like, you know, you did maybe a little bit after the fact is that one day it just dawned on me that I had all the power. Now mm -hmm. it's a good thing and a bad thing. I had the power because I did all the grocery shopping and all the cooking. Mm -hmm. And if, and if I was getting mad at my boys, right. Who would, who would come home from school and be so hungry because they went into the pantry and pulled out something like cookies or chips or something I didn't want them to eat, right? And I say, why don't you wait until dinner? <laughs> I mean, how silly is that, right? They're hungry and it's my fault that that stuff is in the house. Mm -hmm. So it finally dawned on me and I just, you know, we just had a family meeting and talked about it. And I said, you know, here's how it's going to go from this day forward. You know, how does that sound? And they were totally on board, you know, so we do talk about that a little bit in the reset, how to transition your family. But, you know, as women, a lot of times, not all the time, but a lot of times we have all the, all the power because we are the ones who are do. you know, we're bringing the food into the home. We're preparing the meals more often. So, well, I'm yeah. so before the reset, I made it 51 years without eating vegetables. Yeah. Other than, you know, when I was a kid and it was force fed on me, which is probably why I didn't like them. Um, I never ate vegetables. So of course I didn't eat vegetables. I didn't cook vegetables. I really didn't buy many vegetables. So my kids grew up with very few vegetables. So right. yeah, it does right. start from, but now they do and they're eating and they're trying different things. And um, I know we had a recipe that came up for bok choy. I'd never even heard of that before. We cooked it, you know, even my son was trying it. So, you know, getting them to eat some different things and is pretty amazing. Yeah. And the fact that I'm liking vegetables now, I, yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because you know how important they are to you feeling well, like that you have a whole different relationship to mm -hmm. food now than you did before. And I think that's part of the value of the reset is really, really shifting your relationship to a lot of things, right. To yourself and then to the habits that you have. And you know, like you said, like really understanding the why behind things, the science behind things um, makes all the difference. It makes Absolutely. all the difference in whether you do something or not. So what would you say? Okay. So this has been, how many pounds have you released? 26. 26. And you've sustained it since, since I don't know. January 21. Yeah. Yeah. So a, almost a year and a half. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say it's totally sustainable? You don't have to go on diets? I, yeah, again, and speaking from somebody who has tried every diet and I would do them and, you know, maybe have slight success and then fall off the wagon and start something else. And yeah, the fact that I am still doing this a year and three or four months later is, is crazy. Um, you know, especially a year ago when I remember asking you, when do I return to my normal schedule? And you said, this is your normal life. <laughs> and I first Oh my gosh, really? For like, freaking out. But it is normal and it's not it's so bad. And it is sustainable. And I can go out to eat and I can go places with friends and I can invite friends over and we can still yeah. have a very normal, you know, normal life. And I have normal meals and I eat well and, and I'm not starving myself anymore. I know. I'm not We're not starving and over exercising. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not exercising for an hour and a half, five days a week and eating 1400 calories and you know, and that's because you learned that it has a really negative hormonal impact on your body, right? Like I think that we, we have to like understand what some of these things are doing to our body uh, with some of the activities that we're doing so that we can better kind of adjust them to actually have a better hormonal outcome. Yeah, but it makes, makes totally sense. And, and, you know, it's, I, I cannot believe, yes, again, it's, someone had told me back in January that I could still be doing this a year from then, I probably wouldn't have believed him. But I'm here telling you, ladies, it is possible. <laughs> it's yeah. completely and it's because, it's because, yeah, you get to feeling so good. Like I, I have a saying that, that goes, you know, we don't know how bad we feel until we begin to heal. And that's because, you know, it's a gradual process, you know, uh, not feeling well. I mean, I, you know, I, I had kind of hit rock bottom and it sounds like you had too. And, um, and we, so we don't know how bad we are. And then as we start to feel better, we don't want to go back there. So, you know, you can kind of project how you're going to feel if you go back, you know, to some of the old habits and that really keeps you motivated to stay on track. And then, you know, being around like-minded women really, really helps too. being supported, right? 
Definitely. That has been huge is, is having the community to surround you and help you get through some of the rough patches. And um, yes. just keep, I apologize. My little one is hiding under my desk and is barking. Oh, I, can, can you pull him out so we can no. see him? Well, I absolutely love dogs. Oh my gosh. They're so, so pretty. It sounds like a little puppy. Well, she's a little dog. She's 10, but yes, I think she's hiding on the other side of my desk, but um, <laughs> that's so cute. Of course, then she's not going to me at the door to come in. Oh, so Sherry, what, what would you say to a woman who is thinking about joining the reset? You know, we have almost 14,000 women in this group. They all need the reset, right? What, what would you say to a woman who's thinking about it? Do it. I mean, there is, you owe it to yourself. Nobody is going to fix you. No doctor is going to fix you. Um, you know, and, and life is short. You know, we've seen that in the last two years, how quickly things can change. And, you know, you can't just keep waiting that, you know, oh, after the summer, I'll get healthy after, you know, after, you know, after my vacation, I'm going to get healthy after the new year, I'll get healthy. You know, when my, I'm going to get healthy before my daughter's wedding. I mean, there's all these things that we keep saying we're going to wait and do. And, you know, you, you need to do it now because there is so much living to be done, you know, so, is. Yeah. I, you know, I can't imagine feeling the way I did a year ago. It was just so, it was debilitating and it was depressing and it was just, you know, and that's what part of me is like, I don't want to live that way. Like that cannot be my life for the next, however many, you know, 30 years, that can't be my life. And, you know, when your doctors tell you that it's normal, doctors will tell you that how you're feeling is normal. And as you know, it's not, I mean, it might be common, but it's not normal and it, and it is fixable. And, you know, there's no reason to go through life being so miserable when you can fix it. And it's not yeah, hard. I mean, it, yeah. It's living your life focused on your health challenges and, and how you're going to get through the day, right? Like mm -hmm. that's how you live your life or it's being present for every moment of your fabulous life and doing exactly what you want to do and not really thinking so much about your health or how bad you feel, mm -hmm. but really keeping your body in a place where you are able to do the things that you want to do. So it's a real, like, it's a huge, huge, huge shift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. you are so inspiring and way to, way to get through COVID because that can be a really big challenge, but I know that just because you were healthier and, and kind of had some really good tools, you were able to, to get through. No doubt. Had I gone into it a year ago with, you know, being borderline diabetic and the high blood pressure and obese, you know, it probably would have been a whole different outcome, a lot slower recovery, you know, and yeah, yeah. It, it, I, I went into it in a whole better place, plus had the nutrition to get through it, plus had my nutrients and my supplements and, and I did everything I could to keep inflammation down yeah. during that time period. And, yeah, so, and I really, so smart. And I just and feel like that got me through so much faster than a lot of other people I know who got sick the same time I did. Yeah. And you were, you were uh, pre-diabetic, your hemoglobin A1C was pretty elevated and you got, you got that way down. Yeah. And, and you mentioned high blood pressure. Did you also have high blood pressure? Yes. Yeah. And you know, that was part, I mean, and I even went to the ER, you know, with, you know, I was at 198 over, I don't know, 120 something. Um, thinking I was having a heart attack and yes, but that was elevated. So, you know, I was on blood pressure medication for that for probably, you know, the last two years before the reset. And then were you able to get off the high blood pressure medication? Yep. Blood pressure is normal. Wow. Cholesterol is normal. A1C is, you know, is down considered normal, not where it needs to go yet, but it's there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you're, but, but you're, yeah, you're, <clears throat> you're out of the danger zone of the danger zone. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, congratulations. Well, I'm so proud of you for keeping it up, for showing up here, for staying on track, for being, you know, a beacon of light for all of us, because we need that, you know, we need to hear from others that it's possible, even when you're really far down, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yep. And right, well, seven days. you can do it for seven days. Give it yeah, seven days. This is seven days. You have to clear out your calendar though, because this is priority. It's priority. But for seven days, you can do it. Like you can do anything for seven days. Like I said, I had to do it for 15, seven days. <laughs> you are any me. Yeah. I'm hearing some of the same things. I love it. You can do anything for seven days, anything. Yeah. We women have done lots of hard things. We can do this for seven days and it's super fun. Like it's not hard at all. 
Well, thank you so much, Sherry, for being on with us. Just really, really helps to hear your story. Let's give her lots of love. So much love as we do and big kisses. Mwah. Thank you, girl. And we need you to post a picture of your horse in this group. Okay. Post a picture of your horse because I'm thinking about getting back into horses and I just need to see them right now. I'm thinking uh, about it. I, I have quite a few pictures. I have two. Okay. All right. You get them in that group. All, All right. right. Thank you again. Thanks so much for being here. All right. So wasn't that so inspiring? Just amazing, right? Um, so I'm going to do questions now. So if you have any questions, you can um, you need to join me on Zoom here. Join me on Zoom and just put your questions in the chat. You can just put your questions in the chat and I'll be sure to answer them for you. So any questions about Robin's hormone reset that's coming right up? And the, um, the link is, uh, is right there in the Facebook group, but I'll also put it here um, in the chat so that you have it in case you haven't signed up yet, because I want to make sure that you sign up um, as quickly as possible. And I also want to talk about the um, VIP All Access Pass that I think is worth every penny. I think it's $47. And um, you get a few things for that. So um, when you upgrade and get your front row seat, that's kind of how I see it, is you actually get a very special class with me before the reset starts. So it's on Sunday before the reset starts. And it's uh, the class is called Set Yourself Up for Success. And my whole team is on the call, um, on the class with us. The coaches are on and we're going to help you get really clear on, um, on what's going on for you right now and what your goals are. And then we're going to help you get the most out of the program. So you're actually, you know, it's like someone holding your hand for seven days. You're going to have access to what we call the hormone clarity call. It's a short call with one of my coaches to set you up for the program. So you get that at the very beginning. And then you'll also get 24 hour pre-access to schedule a hormone breakthrough session with one of my coaches. So you get a lot of things with this. And then we also have um, the first Thursday, the only Thursday, um, right before Fabulous Friday, we actually have, um, we do, I do laser coaching with the VIPs and it's a really special time to really get clear, you know, cause it's, it's kind of confusing, you know, figuring out your root causes, what next steps need to be. And so it's really, it's really, really a great opportunity to get some individual support. Really great. All right. So just want to see um, if there are any questions. I don't think there are any questions. So maybe we did a good job of answering them here today. So yeah, just post your, you know, your one, big health goal. If you could only pick one, what would it be? And you heard Sherry talk about quite a few. She talked about, you know, how she's improved her blood sugar so much. She was pre-diabetic, how her blood pressure was really high, how she was so tired, really forgetful, overweight, like so many things were going on. And that may be the case for you too. So if you had to pick just one, what would it be? So let's post it right here. Post it right here. All right, everybody, it's been wonderful being with you today and being with you here today. And I look forward to seeing you inside the reset. Sending you so much love. Mwah.